Hi, I'm Pastor Harold. This is Change a Minute for today. We're still talking about Yard Chronicles. And today, we're talking about word mirrors. So you look at Matthew 15, and it's talking about when Jesus, when they were picking the ears of corn, and they were saying that, why do your disciples eat with unwashed hands? And Jesus said, you know, speaking what you eat and what goes into your mouth, if is not what defiles a person, but what comes out of the mouth is what defiles the person because what come out of the mouth reflects what's in the heart. No one is not just, all oh, they just talking. All oh, they just joking. We give people a pass for saying things or we don't see the heed the warning that God is trying to give us when he allows people to say certain things in our presence and we'll chalk it up to oh they just talking oh they don't mean it oh they this no they were saying what they were oh they was just mad oh, they was this that no they're saying what they reflected in their heart you're saying what you reflect in your heart and you have to be careful with what you're saying you have to be careful with how clean your heart is because you'll tell on yourself or somebody else will tell on themselves. So your words mirror what's in your heart. You can't believe something strong enough. If you believe something strong enough, you'll start saying it. If you believe something strong enough, besides doing it, you'll start telling. You'll start saying what you believe. You might try to hide it at first. You might try to do something. But eventually the situation will come to where you verbalize what you've been believing for the whole time. So don't take it lightly what people say. Don't take it lightly what they do. But to look at what they do. But don't take lightly what people say. Especially when they're just joking or just talking or just mad and you be careful what's in your heart because you ain't going to be able to hide it forever it's going to come out let's be careful that our heart is pure so our words can be pure so what our environment can be pure because remember life is death is in the power of the tongue and that will end up defiling us the things that are be saying because it reflect what's already in our heart so until next time I am what God says I am I can do what God says I can do. I believe what God's word says about me. And I'm a world changer through the blood of Jesus Christ. Remember, like and subscribe. Dollar sign. Uh, a change of church international. E-I-N-T-L. And make sure that you have a clean heart. So you can live a clean life. And say clean things that reflect a clean reality. Have a wonderful day.